at 70 years old, sure. 60 years old. Oh yeah. It's never too late. No. It's never too late. It's never too what? It's never too late. It's never too what? It's never too late to keep on getting after it. Ageless fitness. Dot me. <laughs> Ageless fitness. Dot me. <laughs> Dot me. Dot me. <laughs> yeah. Six year old Iron Joe, Central Park Joe. If you don't know now, you know. <laughs> love it, love it. So, what you doing right now? I'm doing some jump rope. Okay. Getting that cardio in. Yes, ma'am. Nice and how old are you? Seven zero. Seventy years old. I'm sorry, seventy years young. My bad, my bad. Huh? Looking fine like one, girl. There you go, mobility. Yeah. Mobility. World's greatest stretch. Nice. And what is this good for? Oh, this is good for activating your glutes, your hamstrings, opening up your chest, thoracic mobility, and then what I like to do is add a push up in there as well. Ah, oh, there you go. Help warm up the shoulders, feel the work that's coming up. Holding this for a second or two. Yeah. Glorious day. Oh no, you two legends are too far away. You gotta come a little bit closer. Sure. <laughs> sure. Show them what 60 and 70 looks like in 2022. There you go. There you go. Okay. Yes, ma'am. Warming up that whole body. Squat. Yes. Warming up the hips. And why is this important right now? Because oh. as you get older, more, more. you want to have this flexibility. Yes. Right. You want to be able to do the electric slide. Oh, I was doing that last oh um, yesterday. <laughs> yes, ma'am. <laughs> and now I have two left feet. Right, you know, right. mess up the reception. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yes, ma'am. Yeah. Warming up everything. Age is just a number. Say it again. Age is just a number. Say it one more time. Age is just a number. All right now. And what we do, <laughs> we don't let age define us. Mm -hmm. We define age. Right. There we go. Yeah. Energy, man. 70 yeah. years young. 60 years young. No excuses. Nine. Look, mobility is everything. Look at this. Okay, she's doing those post squats. She's doing those post saying squats. And this is just a warm up. Yeah. Sure. <laughs> Woo! Yes. I like that. I like that. Oh. And what's the what's this arm um, stretch right here? This here is a variation on the world's greatest stretch where you're really tight. It causes the anterior pelvic tilt, which yes. then causes your back to get into a more sway back position and puts a lot of extra pressure on your lumbar spine. Mm -hmm. That's why it's very important to do these stretches. Uh, I have a question. Yes. Is it best to stretch after? Before, during, and after at this point. Okay. Yeah. Can I chime in? Please. So from what I learned, you know, from um, studying exercise science is that before the workout, dynamic stretching. Yeah. Dynamic yeah. stretching. You know, if, even when I started to get into like weightlifting as well, you got to dynamically stretch sure. the body to get the blood flowing and to get ready for that stimulus. Yeah. But after workout, static stretching. Yeah. Absolutely. Oh yes, for sure. This Demonstrate is, some dynamics. Here's how I warm up. Here's, here's the dynamic warm up that I use. So I'll go up and back. Uh -huh. and 
I'll go back, then I'll show you exactly what the dynamic warm-up looks like. Then I grab my trusty band here. Yes, resistant bands. And I do a complex of pull aparts. So you pull this apart, try and hit just below your lower pectorals. So I'll go 10 to 30 of these, depending on the band I'm using. Mm. Then I go right from there into I double it up, and I go right into this here. Oh, I love that one right there. So this helps get the whole shoulder girdle warmed up for the work that's coming up. Yes. Again, that's a dynamic stretch. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So, and then what I'll do is this here, a modified dislocate. Yes. And it's really great for shoulder mobility as well, too. Yep. So you don't have that internal rotation because mm -hmm. you have a lot of shoulder pain. Absolutely. Yes. So this here, I will go through three or four times, depending on the time of the year, since since we're outdoor people, we work out outdoors year-round. Yes. <laughs> uh, like when it's dead of winter, like I may do five rounds of this stretch warm-up. So I'll do this too, again, depending on how I'm feeling. Like I'll do a up. Ooh, I like that one. Oh. It's this type of a routine that I'll go through as a dynamic warm up before I start hitting my calisthenics, my weights, yes. whatever I'm going to be doing that day. Yes, yes, yes. So Love I'm it, man. Good. I'm feeling good. <laughs> I feel like I started this workout. I was only 5'10". Maybe I'm 5'11 now. <laughs> All right. Yeah. Let's go. Listen, these two amazing individuals about to show you how to stay young forever For sure. reverse the aging process Absolutely. we have 60 years young we have 70, 70. years young looking fine like wine 70. mama <laughs> all right now so what are we starting off with i think we're going to start off with some push-up variations oh that's beautiful pauline and i were talking about a, a workout that we like to do when we come up here to yankee stadium which features these bars right here okay so this workout, well, a variation of the workout, the 220. Mmm, so classic. One. Nice, nice, we're nice. Again, and we're going to go two. The reason why we're doing this rep scheme is one, one, two. Two. Is you get your warm up and your workout one two let's and go your cool down in the same set three three yes. one two, two three. three amazing Six. work let's go let's go Alrighty. 60 years young and 70 years young i love it love to see it yep come on yes so this is the one. secret Oh, okay, okay. Listen. <laughs> you guys know if you want to see exclusive interviews from both of them. Let me know. Comment in the comment section below. Let me know. Okay, now we're going to five, guys. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Yeah. Build strength. Five, four, three, two, one. But also, you don't want to lose that vitality. You don't want to lose that 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 youthfulness. Yes. You know, saying, "Oh, I'm too old to work out." What What do you have to say? I I, I need to hear it because I, I hear it too long. That. Yeah, please. Turn that channel. Yeah. Turn that channel from the I'm too old. I can't do it. Turn the channel to I can. Yes. I can do it. Yes. Because I am divine. Yes. And he lives in me. Amen. And I can do all things through him. Amen. Stop making excuses. Get off the couch and start working out. Turn off the golden girls. <laughs> yes, you can. Amazing work, amazing work. What's the importance of doing push-ups at this age? Well, the, the two 
qualities that we lose the fastest as we age are strength and power. Mm. And so those are some things that we need to have in our program and almost prioritize as we get older because of how quickly those two qualities decline. Things like push-ups help build and maintain that strength, power, and related muscle mass. Because once you start losing the muscle mass, the strength and the power, it's over. Yes. It's over. Yes. So don't just focus on the cardio. Don't just focus on, on things like that. Do the mobility, do the yoga, do all that stuff. But don't sleep on strength training. That's, that's the fountain of youth. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. And what's the next workout? What's the next workout? Next. So Joe, what are we doing right now? Okay, here, this is a row variation that helps train our back, our shoulders. Rhomboids. Rhomboids. We're Rear delts. Rear delts. Yeah. There is. We're also in a very good position to work a little bit on a mobility and a bit of static isometric strength in our glutes, our hamstrings. In our quads. And this is a great way to progress into pull-ups. Yes. So, which? Can I try? Yeah. <laughs> All right, Pauline. Just row. Yeah. Oh, you go. Oh, you go. Oh, let's go. That's it. Yeah. A little bit too heavy? Okay, okay, okay. So in the meantime, then I'll just come up here and demonstrate. Just your regular pull-up variation. Clean pull-up variation. So it's always chest to bar for me. Yes. I know that sometimes in the calisthenics world, that extra range of motion equates to time. So my times are really on the slower side, but I'd rather do the full range of motion. Quality over quantity. That's what I say to everybody. Quality over quantity. Explain to us how you build muscle with doing pull-ups. Okay, well, what you can do is progressive resistance is, is one of the methods that we use to build muscle in the strength world. And that's whether it's with weights and whether it's with your body weight. It's one way to implement progressive resistance with just your body weight is Okay, so basic pull-up is like this, up and down. Yeah. Now, if you want to make things harder, and therefore becomes more of a muscle building exercise, you slow the tempo down and increase the time under tension. Yes. So you can go up, slow, with a little pause at the top. Slow down. Woo-hoo! <laughs> Something else you could do is you can throw some ISO holds in. Yes. Go up to the top, do a pull up, hold this position for a certain amount of seconds, come down here for a certain amount of time, down here. Love it. Next thing you know, you won't be able to fit through this. <laughs> yeah. There we go. Yes, ma'am. All right, talk about it. Legacy. Say they names. <laughs> yes. Keep up with the young ones. Correction. You know. Wiser stage. Oh, there you go. There you go. Wiser. Wiser. <laughs> yes, ma'am. Yes. Yes. Everything. Everything. Beautiful work. Woo! Beautiful work. Legs. Oh. Oh wow. Fifty <laughs> percent of your body. Yes. So, some of the things that I like doing for legs are well, we've got this handy dandy step up here. Yes. Single leg step ups. You're doing these. Keep in mind that we walk from one leg to another. Right. So unilateral training is very important. Training one leg at a time. And that same 
movement pattern that we use to walk. So this is one of the exercises that I love doing. Yeah. <laughs> Definitely not bad for 60. <laughs> Those unilateral training is very important. Yes. And then what I like to do is I'll take the resistance band, overhead position like you would see with a um, holding a bar or a, or a dowel. And then I kind of come over here because this will elevate my heels a bit and emphasize overhead squat. Yeah, the quads. So not only am I working on my legs, but I'm also working on my thoracic mobility as well. Yes. I do better, but that's why we're out here every day. <laughs> Never stop learning. A 60 year old wise man. Still learning, you still gaining knowledge, and I know that you are definitely a student in life. For sure. And that is why you stay so youthful, and you stay so vital, and you stay so mobile. Daily. Daily. So I put those two indispensable exercises into my program. Now let's take a look at Pauline here and see what she's got. Squats, three pulses. One, two. Really turn the legs up. And why is this important? I love it because of that balance. Absolutely. You know, so many people when they get a little bit older, not wiser, <laughs> when they get a little bit older, they lose their balance. Mm -hmm. And when For you sure. lose your balance, you start breaking them bones. You gotta call life alert. <laughs> Help, I have fallen. Shout out to that lady. Shout out to that lady. <laughs> What'd you say, Joe? Shout out to that lady. I'm falling and I can't get up. <laughs> 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 I know that I read this somewhere, and I'm not quite sure if it's it's true, but I heard that the, one of the leading causes of death amongst people yes, over 50 yes. are falls. Wow. So that, it's very important to have a balanced component into your training program. Yes. So even when you become older, never skip leg day. No. It is the foundation of everything. It's yep. the essence of everything. If you have a weak foundation, then guess what? The house will crumble down. With the quickness. With the quickness. It's very important to, to there's a statement that, that's truer than anything. Right. The legs are the first to go. Yes. When you're a kid, you just laugh at that. But as you get older, you realize that's a very, very... Start to lose cartilage. Few moments later. He's still going. <laughs> All right now. The fountain of youth. The fountain of youth. <laughs> You're welcome, Paulie. One, two, three. Ooh. Legs up. Listen, and I know some people in their 20s and 30s who will do this like, oh my God, I don't know if I can continue anymore. All the way to the end. What you got to say about them youngsters that, that be t um, taking their youth for granted? Turn the social media off. For real. Think about the future. For real. Appreciate that body, man. This is a serious instrument we got going on. You know what's very interesting? So I did an interview um, with a, a young man, 70, same age as you. Uh -huh. And he said, oh, so many gems in that video. And he said, take care of your body in the younger stage. And when you get older, the body will take care of you. Amen. Right. You agree with that statement? Absolutely. All right, now you live in proof of that. Woo! Show a variation for those who do not have the mobility to squat to 9 degrees, maybe some seated squats. Because okay. people want to see that, okay. you know? Okay. All right. Sit down and figure out where your feet should be right. in relation to the bench. Then just basically stand up and then use your hands as a counterbalance just to go out and just tap that bench lightly and then come up. Remember, slow and controlled with these. I like these. Yeah. These are great. Yeah, and it's a great work. It's a great exercise, regardless of if you can squat all the way down or if you're just a beginner. It's yeah. always good. And squeeze that booty. Squeeze that booty. Squeeze that booty. Squeeze when you're that booty. <laughs> you can make that connection between the muscle and the mind, and you can feel that booty squeeze at the top. <laughs> For scientific terms, Ghoulies Maximus. 
<laughs> but yeah, this is a booty, yeah. Okay. And you know it's very interesting? I do these still, and I can squat like 275, you know, heavy weight, but I do these for like a warm up just to get my body accumulated to the stimulus that's about to, you know, happen in the later stage. You ingrain a good movement pattern. Yes. And make that mind muscle connection. Oh, talk about it. You get your nervous system ramped up, ready for the harder challenge ahead. Don't poo poo any of these beginning exercises here. Not at all. Don't be afraid to do them. Because you know what? Now Scott mentioned social media. No one's paying attention. They're all just looking at their phone. And no one, no one even has a clue that you're a beginner. Because they don't they even see you. And what do you care what people think? That's anyway? right. You can be walking around with bird poop all over you and they wouldn't even notice. <laughs> <laughs> Love it. That was a two. <coughs> That's one. That's it. One. Woo! That's, That's amazing. Just that was like 50 reps. <laughs> we talked about up here. We talked about down here. We're, what about here? The core. The core. What are we gonna do up here? Yes. Yo, I'm fine. It's core time. <laughs> well. to me, uh. listen to me, anything that gets my legs raising up is a real core developer. Yes. You notice that he's not swinging, he's lifting his legs. So he's not using momentum to raise the legs and be like, oh, okay, that's one rep. Right. But the fact that you're lifting, you know, that, that, that right there is gonna cause that stimulus is really gonna um, activate your core. And if you're able to do this variation, Shoulder stability exercise. It's great for your. Oh, it's great for everything. But <laughs> even your hip flexors get a little bit of a strengthening component. Yes. Nice. Nice. Keep the emphasis on your core. Nice. That's one of my favorites. I'm just a beginner. I'm just a beginner. <laughs> <laughs> you don't look like no beginner. <laughs> Whoa. Oh. 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 <laughs> You could have fooled me! You could have fooled me! <laughs> wow! Look at her go! Look at her go! No cane? No nursing home? No! <laughs> oh man! Beautiful! Ooh! Yeah, tuck it in, right? Look at the strength of this woman. Sure. Yes, ma'am. Yes, one. Twenty. All right. Woo! Oh! I like that. Love it. <laughs> I think it's time to show the physique. I think it's time to show the physique, man. I think it's time. <laughs> oh, 60 year old body. Woo! Half boy, right? <laughs> this floor based, again, if you're a beginner, this is a perfect place to start. You can't do what we just demonstrated. Just, just sit on the floor with your hands kind of by your hips. Just raise up a little. Ooh, this is good. Just, this is if you're a beginner, just little baby lifts. I like that too. If you get more advanced, uh, reach that, your hands out in front. Yeah. Ooh. You won't believe how hard this is. It's very hard. <laughs> These are ideal ways to target your core and not jack up your back. Mm. Sit-ups and crunches and things like that. I do some standing core. Uh -huh. Oh, standing okay. Core. Very, very, yes, very good. that's good. And the squat. So, one. Oh, okay. okay. All right. And also bleeds. Love it. Yeah. There you go. Yeah, really feel those old bleeds right there. Yeah. 
Love it. People got to understand that your core just not evolves the anterior and the transverse and the rectus abdominis. You know, you have the the obliques and also your lower back is a part of your core. So after this, we'll show you some lower back strengthening um, exercises, which is, you know, cores as well. And this is this functional movement that's going to help you like to be... It's like an inner tube. There we go. So you have to think of that anaconda. Yes. Like when a snake strangles, right? It's that, this is what's, that's where the muscles come from. We Eventually. Got <laughs> we got to do some push-ups together, you and me. Oh yeah, we, listen. If y'all want to see the video with me and this lovely young lady right here, let me know in the comment section below. We're going to make that happen. Core variation that I really like. So what you want to do is just get to the pull-up bar. The ideal place to start is just, just your knees come up, but nice and slow. I like that too. <laughs> Challenges everything. Your grip. I'll do two more. Looking ripped. <laughs> Getting there. <laughs> Living. Oh, please clarify this because a lot of people is going to see this video is going to be like, oh, he's on testosterone right, booster right. and he's on TRT and all this no. stuff. Please, just talk about it. No, I'm all Shut natural. him down. Shut yeah, him down. All natural. Yes. It's hard training, consistent training. It's really good nutrition and it's also a positive attitude. Oh. You have to bring a positive attitude, a positive outlook because that's contagious. And then once you bring that, you change, you change the dynamic of the room, you change the dynamic of where you're at. And then everybody feeds off of that positive energy. Before you know it, all the things that you thought you couldn't do, you're able to do. Yes. And that's how you get the results. And, and listen, <laughs> and you gotta understand that energy cannot be created or destroyed. It can only be transferred. Right. It can only be transferred. All right, so. so you bring that negative energy. No one wants to hear it or say it, right? Exactly. Yes, get off the social media and meet people face to face, all right? <laughs> After you watch this video. Yeah, 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 of course, of course, of course. All right, what do we have next? Uh, let's see. Here we go, we're gonna get in a plank position. Okay. Okay. Raise those hips up a bit. Then we're gonna do our right leg tap. Right, left. Yes. Right, left. And what is this good for? Burning that core up. Yes, ma'am. Stability. Nice hard. Six pack core. At 70 years old. Sure. 60 years old. Oh, yeah. It's never too late. No. It's never too late. It's never too what? It's never too late. It's never too what? It's never too late to keep on getting after it. Oh, hard. man. I mean. Wow, these are hard. Yeah. <laughs> Five more, one. One. Yes. Two. Two. Come on. Three. Three. Four. Four. Last one. Five. Five. Woo! Woo! A regression. That's a pretty advanced version. Yes. So we all know basically a high plank. Oh, yes. We can hold this variation for time. Right. Which is basically the top of a push up. The lower plank, when you're on your forearms, amps up the intensity. And then once you get good at those two, you do a combination of the high plank and, and the low plank and add a dynamic component to it, which is this up down. It's one of my favorites. Yeah. <laughs> Four more. Nice. Three. Four. And a push up. <laughs> oh, no. oh, oh! <laughs> I thought you about to bust out some push ups right now. Why you feel so good? Because I move my body. No. Hey. 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 Hey! <laughs> feeling alive, feeling vital, and intense, yeah. and just being able to have all your senses For real. heightened. Yeah, get that yeah. vitamin right? D out here. Yes, yes, yes. Now it's time to go out and 
and then touch other people's lives, right? Right. Man. Because now you feel good. You feel like you want to get out there and you want to talk to people, face to face social interactions. Absolutely. You see how much we have in common. Absolutely. The world's trying to divide people. Mm -hmm. We have much more in common than we do in terms of differences. And you notice that when you get outside. Absolutely. So get outside, meet people. Change our, your life, you change their lives. Absolutely. Yeah, so. Absolutely. Wow. My brother, man. Yeah. Ah. Right here. Love you guys. Love you guys <laughs> so much. Man. Beautiful, beautiful, yeah. beautiful, beautiful. Thank you so much, Scott. Uh, yeah, I'm super Scott. proud of you. Listen, oh man, I'm super proud of you. This, 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 this is amazing. Like, as a young man, you know, growing up and things like that, like mother, grandfather, I see them in nursing homes, I see them with the canes, I see them, and I'm thinking to myself, like, when I go into my old stage, am I gonna end up like that? In <laughs> Say it again. No, no, no. You don't understand, like, age is nothing but a number. You feel as young as you feel. Yes. Only as young as you feel. You're only as young as you feel. There we go. And you two have inspired me beyond measure. 60 years young, 70 years young. No, when I get to my older stage, right, I will carry on. I'm 30 years old, 30 years old, 30 years old, uh, young man. But when I do get to my older stage, like, I will carry on the legacy. Yes, and I will spread the good word, like, health is wealth, movement is medicine. Yes. Health is wealth and movement and medicine, and also being positive and inspiring people on a daily basis. And you know, I, I don't know if anybody's spiritual out there, but God is good. He's a good God. God is good, man. He's God is good. God. Amen. When I'm 100. Oh, talk wanna, about it. You want to be 70. Yes. Well, you use me yeah. as a lift. Yes, for my shoulder press. Shoulder press, and I'll be right here with you, all right? Yes, ma'am. Yes, right. ma'am. Yes. A hundred is still moving, still grooving. That's the plan. Sure. Oh my longevity God. Longevity hashtag longevity. Yeah. Turn back that clock. Yeah. yeah. Reverse that aging process for sure. Listen, listen, listen. It's your boy Scott Burhard. Rate, comment, like, share, subscribe. Shout out to these two wonderful individuals, man. 60-year-old Joe and 70-year-old Pauline. All the information will be in the description below. Please be inspired by these two wonderful individuals. And just know that age is nothing but a number. Sure. We out. All right, peace out. Hey. It's the loaded one. James Bond, Golden Gun. Can't touch this MC who bow more hammer than Odin's son. You know this. But then again, they ain't recognize Oprah once. But your man going out like Clips couch when the sofa sunk. Is this quantity or quality? Queens Dilla on a holler street. Gonna tell me about a dope run. I'm Chinatown Opio. You don't want this smoke, but